Mars has been a popular target for a manned spacecraft since the dawn of the space age. Numerous attempts have been made to set human-built probes into orbit around the red planet and land them on its surface to find out more about our ruddy neighbor, particularly if it carried signs of life. The first attempt to send a probe to the red planet was made by the USSR in 1960 with the Marsnik spacecraft, which failed along with many subsequent missions. A total of six landers, or rovers, and nine orbiters have been sent to Mars. Finally, Soviet Union's Mars 3, which landed in 1971, was the first successful Mars landing. Mars 3 was a robotic space probe of the Soviet Mars program. Launched May 28, 1971, nine days after its twin spacecraft Mars 2. The probes were identical robotic spacecraft launched by Proton-K rockets with a Block D upper stage, each consisting of an orbiter and an attached lander. After the Mars 2 lander crashed on the Martian surface, the Mars 3 lander became the first spacecraft to attain a soft landing on Mars on December 2, 1971. It failed 110 seconds after landing, having transmitted only a gray image with no details, Three, the Mars 2 orbiter and Mars 3 orbiter continued to circle Mars and transmit images back to Earth for another eight months. The primary purpose of the 4MV orbiter was to study the topography of the Martian surface, analyze its soil composition, measure various properties of the atmosphere, monitor solar radiation, the solar wind, and the interplanetary and Martian magnetic fields. In addition, it served as a communications relay to send signals from the lander to Earth. The orbiter suffered from a partial loss of fuel and did not have enough to put itself into a planned 25-hour orbit. The engine instead performed a truncated burn to put the spacecraft into a highly elliptical long period, 12-day, 19-hours orbit about Mars. By coincidence, a particularly large dust storm on Mars adversely affected the mission. The surface was totally obscured. Unable to reprogram the mission computers, both Mars 2 and Mars 3 dispatched their landers immediately and the orbiters used up a significant portion of their available data resources in snapping images of the featureless dust clouds. The Mars 3 orbiter sent back data covering the period from December 1971 to March 1972, although transmissions continued through August. It was announced that Mars 3 had completed their mission by August 22, 1972. After 20 orbits, the probe, combined with Mars 2, sent back a total of 60 pictures. Reaching Mars is a hard and unforgiving endeavor, with little room for error. A large proportion of the 50-odd missions launched toward Mars have been lost due to failed components, rocket glitches, or grievous errors that sent probes crashing into the Martian surface or missing the planet altogether. Landing missions are especially tricky to the long time delay between Mars and Earth communications, the thin Martian atmosphere, and the fact that spacecraft and their components must survive several months in space before making it to the surface. We have been very lucky with many landing missions, but not all of them made them down. 